Good morning, guys. <laughs> Today is meeting day, Igbo meeting day, and it's our turn to host the meeting. There are not a lot of Igbos living here, so what we do is we take turns in hosting the meeting, like each member. So today is our turn and I'm going to prepare this special delicacy for them. I want to give them a taste of home, you know. Come with me, let's prepare it together. But first of all, we need to go to the meat market to buy some meat. I'm going to meet my customers at the meat shop. So, a lot of Spanish speaking ahead. <laughs> See their shop over there. Carniceria Hermanos Camarero. Hola, buenos días. ¿Qué tal estáis? Bien, ¿y usted, cariño? ¿Qué tal la familia? Bien, muy bien. bien. ¿Qué tal, chicos? Cada día mejor. Cada, Cada día mejor. mejor. Me alegro. Gracias, cielo mío. Eres la mejor. ¿Qué va a llevar, bro? Costillas. Vale. Para una comida especial de Nigeria. Vale. ¿De ternera? Sí, de ternera. Muy, vale. muy jugosa. ¿Eh? Muy tierno. Vale. Buenísimo. Vale. Sin grasa. <risa> Buenos días. <risa> es muy grande, ¿eh? Más pequeño. Ese, ese está bien. Este, este. Este, este bien. Sí. Como este. I'm going to cut it so small because it's pepper soup. Buenos dias. On to the next shop. I'm going to buy hat. I'm done with a lot of time to spare. <laughs> the madams of the house, the damas de la casa. <laughs> They have not arrived at the market. If not, they will be there chatting and asking about what happened last year. <laughs> and the queue won't be moving, so the best times to go to these places is in the morning, early in the morning. Back from the market, let me show you all the meat I got. Here, when you buy shaki from the market, it's not the bleached one. Uh, there's one that they sell at the supermarket. That one is bleached to stew for it to, to be white, like pure white <laughs> and tasteless. So yeah, this one, I usually buy shaki from the market. And then this is heart. And this is the fleshy part of this, ribs. I use ribs because it's very tasty. I'm not going to use all of them because you can see that it's quite a lot. There are not so many people in the meeting and not everybody will come anyway. Some people will go to work and all that. If you want the pepper soup to have single bite sizes like this so that the person doesn't need to touch it when they're eating. So I'll go in and sort that. Everything cut up. I've done the first part of cleaning which is cutting off the fat. Look at Look at all that fat came from the ribs. So it's the fat from the heart. Look at that white part of the heart. Yeah. Cut it over as well. And the rest are fat, 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 even fat. And this is the heart. This is liver. I had liver before. This is the big, big pieces of ribs that I said I would take out. You can see that they're so big. And I'm going to use this one to cook soup. So I'm putting it in the freezer. This is the bite-sized one for the pepper soup. I don't know if I've said what I'm cooking. I'm cooking yam pepper soup. <laughs> so the aim is to have a variety of meats. All washed. Now you can see I have two containers with two sets of meats. Each one contains meat with the same cooking time. So this cow tribe and this fleshy part of beef 
they both have the same cooking time so i'm going to start cooking these two in the pressure cooker first and then add these ones later this is the liver and the heart to prepare pepper soup is so easy it doesn't require a lot of gongo a lot of ingredients you just need this this is calabash nutmeg with emphasis on calabash let me show you it's not ordinary nutmeg mm -hmm. <laughs> you have the peeled one that's the one i buy but i don't grind it because because it's aromatic uh, when you grind it it starts losing its flavor so i don't grind it but i buy the peeled one peeling it is work this is the unpeeled one looks like calabash skin that's why it's called calabash nutmeg it's spicy it's called ehu there's another one that is ehu <laughs> it's slender slightly skinnier than this one this that one is best used for spicy peanut butter but this one is ehu there's ehu there's ehu <laughs> normally you should roast it to you know make the flavor more concentrated but i don't have the time for that as far as i'm concerned it's ehuru that benefits from roasting but ehu for pepper soup not so much <laughs> anyway you guys know that i don't care about a lot of things <laughs> so roast it if you want so i'm going to grind it now with my trusted spice grinder No, it's like um, coffee beans. <sighs> like coffee beans. If you want to buy this, I have the link below. You know, when I say that this is spicy, it's not like vindaloo kind of spiciness. You can feel it, but it's not too much. There's more benefit in the aroma, the special aroma that you have, than in the spiciness. So you still need to add pepper. I already have some pepper in the freezer blended pepper you see add a little bit more i'll also add this to beef up the color there's this long pepper that i use you guys know me and that long red pepper italian peppers for some time now it's up to three months now that i haven't seen it in the shops i don't know what's happening i also add like one onion to the pepper while blending it okay <laughs> the most frequently asked question on this channel why didn't you slice the onions into small pieces <laughs> i've been saying this in my videos all through the years and then on one video i asked this question and since then i'm still getting the question even though a lot of people have answered it in the comments and i've confirmed that they got the answer right that like people just come they don't read the rest of the comments like for a two-year-old video three-year-old video come on there must be an answer there somewhere. Let me answer it in a video. <laughs> the reason why I don't slice onions when making pepper soup is that I don't like seeing pieces of onions in my pepper soup. It's unsightly. I don't like it. <laughs> but you want the flavor in there. So you cut it into big chunks. And when it has deflated, when all the flavor has gotten into the what you're cooking you can remove it right you can do it however you like with cooking there's no formula yeah the reason why we i have a youtube channel is to share how i do it and the reason why you watch me is to see how i do it it's not like you don't know how to do it already but right? yeah sometimes the pieces of onions come to the surface of the pepper soup but, eh, you know. <laughs> it puts me off so that is the only reason why i do that no other sinister reason <laughs> so i just cut it like that this end will hold it together it doesn't disintegrate but even if it disintegrates because it's big big leaves of onions you can easily pick it out i'm going to add six cubes yeah it's for all the meats and everything i'm cooking we even need more but let's be going you know it has ehu ehu is like seasoning on its own organic seasoning <laughs> so if you can reduce on the these artificial ones that would be good turn on the heat add that 
if you want you can add salt at this time but the seasoning cubes i added already contain salt but let me add for to make some people happy some people just like seeing me add salt to meat <laughs> and then leave it there to steam yeah So, I've been stirring it, stirring it, you know, at intervals. You can see that it's well steamed uh, because the red meat has turned pale. So, it's well steamed. In fact, my kitchen, nebo, nebo, oh, nebo, come, come. Mm -hmm. What does this kitchen smell like? Meat. Something else. Yeah, spices. Like what? Your nose doesn't work. It smells like something, but I don't... You don't know? Okay, when Nettie comes in, I'll ask him. Your nose is not working. Your nose is like your father's nose. He can't smell to save his life. <laughs> so, I add the chunks of onion. Bury it in there. Leave it to steam for a bit. You can see I, I've not pressurized the pot, so... And it has steamed for, I think it has steamed for about five minutes. Add water, cover it, and now you can pressurize. Okay, I have scent leaves because scent leaves is what you use to prepare Nigerian pepper soup. But it's in the freezer. You guys know how I preserve my fresh scent leaves that I brought from nigeria it's in the freezer and you know when it has been in the freezer for some time it, it, it doesn't look green like this so i add scent leaves for the scent for the flavor and then i find another vegetable here a vegetable that is that has a similar texture to scent leaves so this vegetable has a similar texture to scent leaves like fresh scent leaves it has the smell of vegetable but it's not not nothing strong going on and it doesn't have taste so i just use that to make it look nice for freshness how do you say this in spanish rucula, rucula. this vegetable is rucula you can look up what it's called in english or where what it's called where you live i want to ask you another thing what does this kitchen smell like <laughs> this just pressurized now so i'm going to turn off the heat and but i'll leave it here to depressurize on its own the next step is to peel the yam but i'm about to faint here let me eat breakfast first mm. carrot mango orange these are the two bars of yam i'll use we are expecting about i don't know at most 12 people and considering that some people work on Saturdays, they may not come. So yeah, let me start peeling and see how far. Yeah, it's good. Cool, we were in a hurry today we bought this year. <laughs> see them all, all peeled, cut and rinsed very well. I separated them into two. These are the big ones. You know, the diameter of the yams are not the same. So these are the big ones. And these are the, did I say medium and small ones? I'll cook them separately because they don't have the same cooking time. The ones in this bowl are bigger. See how they're still intact. Even though, hmm. Okay. Normally, I would add the other meat here and cook it but this one is too done so you see how plants can change as you cook some of these things you just like life <laughs> you plan your life ever so often you review Slowly decant because you see that some of the who has settled at the bottom. It's 
see this one cooks in no time 10 to 15 minutes you know this broth or stock is well seasoned lots of onions there let's just give this one some fresh onions so that it will be happy <laughs> So the heart and kidney are done and then I remove them from the pot, shed the stock. So I'm just going to pour water to cover it, just same level. See the frozen charm. I'll add the fresh vegetables later. You add it now to change color. I usually transfer it to a cooler because if you leave it in here to be water water by the time you're done. Time you want to serve it, I transfer it to a cooler. <laughs> we just finished hosting the meeting everybody is gone i'm tired Good night.